back to the channel guys hopefully this will be a pretty good uh visual hopefully you can see me pretty well and you'll be able to hear me pretty well this is a pretty tight spot like everything i do is in is in a really small area when it comes to video stuff so i don't really have a whole lot of wiggle room and hopefully if this works out pretty well uh, i'll be able to do more reaction videos especially with a a, a different take on it, a different idea of how to do it so we're getting into it. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be pretty good. And we're going to be reacting to a new Gundam game called Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation Code Fairy announcement trailer. Now, I had heard about this a little bit a, a little bit ago. And I hate when it does that. Uh, a little bit ago. And I thought it was just a rumor or it was just like speculation. I thought that that was a really silly name. But apparently that's what it's actually called. So we're going to go ahead and get into it and see how it is. Alright, so we're at T PlayStation. Will that will be only exclusive to PlayStation? Because I hate when they this. <laughs> 私たちはまさに異物なのだ。ただいま着任しました。ヘレナ・ヘーゲル総長。激作戦って聞いた私が二人とも援護する。どうするのこのまま一気に決めるぞ。私の切り札。行くぞ。第一種戦闘配置。ノイジーフェアリー隊に着任したアルマシュティルナ仲間と共に激動の宇宙世紀ワーセブンティナインをかけ抜ける最前線で戦う彼女たちも予測不能なミッションが待ち受ける機動戦士ガンダムバトルオ
I don't really understand what's happening, you know, and the subtitles really aren't explaining anything. They're just kind of giving you a rundown of what the game's going to be like. And I kind of like that a little bit. Japanese trailers seem to be a lot better and like explaining things to you about how the game's going to be versus just trying to be like eye catching. Like they're still eye catching, but like they like to throw in as much information as possible. Also, sorry if you hear things on the other side of the wall. Roommate, uh, of course, has his TV turned up really loud and his door is open. So even though mine's closed, you're still going to be able to hear it pretty easily through the wall. So sorry if you hear anything like that. Uh, also, sorry if this is too loud. I'm not exactly sure where I should put the volume. Like I said, this is mostly going to be a test for when I uh, do this for another one because I plan on doing a reaction for every episode of SD Gundam World Heroes because I didn't do that for Sakokuden and I finished the last three episodes of that series. I finished the last few episodes of that series, so I finished it, so now I can move on to SD Gunner World Heroes, and I do have that already planned, so hopefully that will come out soon, especially if this works out pretty well, this newer setup. I'm trying to work around, especially technical issues, so hopefully this is a lot better, uh, but let's get back into it. Did you see that gun? It looked like it had like a crown. Like, like it was royal or something. That was weird. Battle Operation Cold Fire. So it's exclusive to play. Um. So we'll start from now. So standard edition, you'll get the the game of Volume One, Volume Two, Volume Three, early access, one day early access to the game. And Volume 2 and 3, you'll get uh, PSN Avatar set, 10, 10 different types. Obviously, we've got an Operations 2 in-game rewards unit, the Zanny ground type level 1 and 100,000 DP. That's okay. You know, that's a decent like little upgrade. I don't really think this will be worth it, though, personally. Uh, but then again, I'm mostly an Xbox player. And I don't think they have this on Xbox, so luckily I have a PS4 and I could still technically get it, but I don't know. I don't know if this would be worth it, especially if you uh, if it's not like a free download, like Battle Operations 2 is a free download as far as I know. Um, but if you have to pay for this, then that's not really going to be bad. The Lux version. Gives you basically everything the standard version gives you, but it also gives you six avatar custom t customs uh, costumes. I mean, a T-shirt for all the different characters, an avatar costume with normal suit uh, in, in the uh, Code Fairy styles. Okay, that's cool. Uh, gives you uh, noisy fairy, uh, I guess, um, markings for your suit or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, VR operation, so if you have a VR headset, I guess you can do that operation. And 31 tokens that can be used to draw uh, supply drops, you know, to get different things. That's pretty cool. They both released on November 4th uh, and purchased the standard edition of Deluxe. So you have to purchase it. Okay. So you have to purchase it for that. That's not terrible. It's not a ha awful thing, and I'm pretty sure this won't be too expensive. Probably like, I don't know, 40 at the most, I would think, especially for the deluxe version. Because you gotta think, this is like a DLC for a free game. And it's technically its own game, but it's still under the Battle Operations banner. Uh, so yeah. Now, that's pretty interesting. Um, I haven't really heard anything about this off of Gundam Info's uh, website, but this was on GundamInfo.com. Uh, not, not, not .com. 
but got no info on his YouTube channel. So I'll probably leave a link to the video and to the channel down below. So if you want to check it out for yourself without having to see my beautiful mug somewhere in the corner of the screen, then uh, you can do that. Uh, overall, I think it's a pretty interesting game. It probably would be pretty, pretty good. And I like Battle Operations too. But because it tries to make it more of a mech simulator than a action game... I personally don't think it's as good because I prefer my Gundam games to be very fast paced because it just kind of feels like that's how it would be while battle operations games are much more slow and methodical. Not necessarily bad, it's just a different take on it and I prefer my mobile suits to be very quick and, and fast and maneuverable. So. Personally, Battle Operations is not one of my favorite games, but it is a nice, fun little romp sometimes to play a little bit, play a few matches, and then I, I kind of get off. <laughs> I get off the game, and that's pretty much all I do. It's pretty fun, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, and because it's only based in uh, Universal Century, it kind of takes away a little bit from the whole franchise because there's so much other suits that could be incorporated into a game that's similar to that. Regardless, uh, hopefully that's a pretty uh, interesting reaction for everybody. Hopefully you like it. Leave a like on the video, if you will. Leave a comment. Tell me how you feel about Battle Operations or Code Fairy. Maybe you'll, you'll be interested in getting it. Uh, maybe there's more to it. Maybe this is based off of like a uh, manga or something that I don't know about. Uh, but if you have any extra information, leave it in the comments. Let me Tell me if you think you're going to get it or not, and uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, but hopefully this video will work out itself pretty well. So maybe I'll do more in the future if this one turns out pretty well and there's not much lag and stuff during the recording. But this has been Yokai, your host. Uh, hopefully this has been a good video. Like, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe if you're not, and hit the notification bell. All those things really help the channel, and I would like to get to 30 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's hopefully we can make that happen, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.